the 2002 Larson 23 foot. They call this a LXI 230. This video is to show all the boat's flaws as well as its positive things. So let's start with the positive. It's a nice big family boat. It's got plenty of horsepower. It's got a nice aluminum trailer made by McLean Trailers. Tandem axle. That's mud from our parking lot here at Hot Heads Marine. Axles and everything look in great shape. Lug nuts, all of that. I mean, you can see it's really not in poor condition. Fenders. Uh, we haven't tested the trailer lights. We've got the water hose on because we started up. We just put a brand new battery in. We're going to run it here in a minute. Here's the back of the boat. Dual SS props. Uh, Volvo Penta Drive. Some fading on the upper cap. Um, some various, uh, you know, pinstripe uh, scratches and stuff just from normal use. Boat's pretty shiny. We just buffed it out a couple of weeks ago. Okay. That's Joseph on board. He got hit in the head with the battery when one of the guys was handing it to him and he's kind of injured right now. So, <clears throat> pretty clean boat for its age, right? Um, we had a fiberglass damage spot right here. Looks like somebody, my guy put the wrong color tape back on it. He was trying to patch the tape, but this area right here was damaged into this and we repaired it. That was from one day when the trailer was above the bow of the boat and it hit kind of awkwardly right in here. But it's been repaired, it's repaired fine. It does need some black pinstripe tape and some white pinstripe tape to match this. Uh, I just noticed this, I would never have said that was okay. We got pop-up cleats, stainless steel cleats, and pretty good seating area. There's some of these uh, brackets here, these black brackets. Uh, the prior owner was using it for fishing and family. Um, so, you know, those are just there. <clears throat> Let's see under here. That's a little anchor well. We got storage underneath the seats. We got some damage to the front upholstery cushion. That's one cushion right there that's damaged. Uh, I had a quote on this stuff of $600 to fix it. Um, last registration, I guess that's September of 2005. That's TX number. Here's a, a couple of little hickeys here in the rub rail. Okay. And, you know, if you back up from it, it's really not that bad. Of course, up close, you can see it pretty well. Uh, they put some window tinting on the glass, and the middle glass looks like it's kind of, you know, buckled up a little bit. Never bothered me. It's just a little faded. It just needs a good cleaning, it looks like. It's got a bimini top that matches the boat. We got the 5.0 GXI engine. I'm not sure why this cover is melted right there. It looks like maybe it, somebody ran it with it off and laid on the exhaust or something. Uh, we didn't do that. It probably was years ago. There's the trim pump. Um, the engine's pretty clean. We did replace the alternator on it about nine months ago. It was bad, and we got a brand new battery in over there as of today. It's got a battery switch. Um, the rear upholstery, this right here, the stitching has come out, and it's torn right here. This is on the main back cushion. So the, the main back cushion at top, that's where people enter the boat and exit the boat. You know, it takes a pretty good hit. And then they slide off, and they slide off to that cushion, and that cushion... Uh, that cushion from all the way around there needs to be redone in my opinion so that's one right here two and that front one there's a little damage on top of this seat right here turn that seat around for me Joseph it turns the other way it may be locked it may be locked that's okay I'll get on board excuse me while I get my old self on board this boat. Okay. All right. So it's a pretty roomy boat. It's got a floor access here in case you ever had to get to the fuel tank. Um, we've got this uh, storage hatch in here. It's a little bit dirty in here. We didn't clean it out. We never really even used it. Okay. That's some storage in the bottom. It rained pretty hard yesterday. That's why it's got some water in it. Um, these hinge screws are out. They need to be put back in. Not sure why they're out. 
Um, I got ski mirrors. Look at the glass in here. You can see the window tinting on that center glass and on the main windshield. You know, I don't know much about window tinting, but I would think, you know, somebody would want to redo that. It doesn't look very good to me. Um, the seat, there's the uh, damage on the top. It's used for people leaning and holding and sitting and all kinds of things. It's common. These are flip up seats too, which means this piece flips up like that so that you can sit a little higher. So when the boat is uh, pulling a load or whatever, you know, you can sit up there and you can see behind you. Prior owner made this thing and put, uh, I guess that was for fishing rod holders. You know, I guess he stuck fishing poles in there and had them, you know, laying back here or something and stuck them through there. That's all I can assume that is. Uh, it's got a little onboard air compressor and the stereo speakers. You know, there's cup holders and, and little trays and all kinds of things. That fire extinguisher, another speaker on the driver's side. Uh, the dashboard. It's pretty straightforward. Controls. Everybody's asking me about seating. 11 persons are almost 2,000 pounds. Okay, there's the kill switch lanyard. The steering wheel looks pretty good. It's a little bit, uh, you know, dried out on the black part, but it's not torn or nothing. Uh, this plastic stuff they use for ignition switch areas, you can see it's kind of cracked a little. Some fading on the switch buttons. The dash looks pretty good. It's got a built-in depth finder never used it uh, when you start the boat it beep beep beeps and you have to reset it uh, there's a little scratch inside the glass or outside the glass right there gauges all seem to work you know all the accessories and all that stuff everything seems to work like it's supposed to those are like mode and adjust I don't that's for the dash controls and then navigation lights and you can see you know, everything comes on um, bilge pump, you know, and I can read that one, I guess courtesy lights or something like that. The stereo, I'm not sure if the stereo works anymore. They're not very, they don't hold up very well. They're about 40 or 50 bucks for those stereos. The horn, horn does not work. <clears throat> That's a common item. This guy had put this uh, Lowrance GPS, but he left it uncovered. It's no good. I would take it off. It's kind of mounted in a not so good place in my opinion. And what else? I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. I'm kind of in a hurry today. I apologize. I know that everybody that's interested in this boat needs to see all this stuff and I don't want any surprises. So we open up the windshield. There's the front seating area. That's where the horn is just behind that under the dash. This boat looks like it had a snap-on uh, bow cover at one time. I don't have it. I've never had it. Um, some grab handles, some speakers under there, cup holders. Let's lift this cushion. I haven't looked under here in a long time. Let's pull that up. We got storage underneath there. Looks like a, an ice chest uh, underneath this seat. And then just like rope or life jacket storage. Let's lift this one, Joseph. And same thing on this side. It's got like two ice chests and then plenty of storage. Okay, close that. And what about the one right behind you? Does it open up? Yes, that one too. And that's the extended storage. There's a can of Raid Fogger. Probably had some bugs in there at one time. Close that. <clears throat> and I mean, that's about it. So now we're going to run the engine and we're going to put it in gear and all that stuff and go from there. Again, I wanted people to see this uh, upholstery. So I had a guy quote me 600 bucks to replace that piece, this piece, and that front piece, and the tops of this seat right here. This looks like it just needs restitched. And this one too. A lot of times people will clean these with bleach and that's a big no-no. Uh, so we have the throttle control. Show me how the throttle control works. It's got trim on it. And if you want to shift, so there's your trim. Trim works fine. You push that button down in the middle. No. Push the button in the middle to show how you work neutral. You push that in, click it forward. Now you got gas only. So one, one, you'd rev the motor back to neutral. Next time you move it forward or backwards, it's going to go into gear and, and access the throttle also. Okay. So I'm going to step out of this boat. We're going to fire it up. Joseph's going to run it. 
let's see. Of course, I'm going to run other boats while I'm talking. This is the rear. Uh, that's for me just climbing across, right? There's the gas cap, the blower vents, the bow light, our little battery deals from the new battery. A nice boarding ladder. Oh. A boarding ladder, that's the transducer for the GPS that no longer works. Go down the side. This side looks pretty good. I don't see any damage a little bit in the tape right there. This side looks pretty good. The left side had the other scratches in it. The trailer bunk boards all look pretty good. You see it doesn't look like any salt water use at all. Um, you know, everything's nice and clean, no rust, like you would see with salt water, leaf springs and all that still look pretty good. Got some trailer guide-ons, these two guide-ons right here. So when you putting the boat on the trailer, it makes it easier to get on, right? And the Volvo dual drive. Okay, hey Francisco, turn that water on for me, please. <clears throat> okay, uh, Joseph's gonna start it up. He's gonna turn the depth finder off because it always goes beep. And it starts right up, ice cold. Runs good, pumping plenty of water. We got a new water pump impeller in here, and we have new oil and filter and fuel filter service on it. Hey Joseph, trim it down just a little bit. That's good. We want to make sure our propeller is clear. So it's very close to this. Lift that up. Okay, forward gear, please. There's forward gear. Propeller shaft is nice and straight. No wobbling of the propeller shaft. Okay, neutral. Reverse. Good, neutral. Okay, open the engine cover, please. This is your pole light for night driving. And the pole light storage is like right, oh, right there. And you can hear how quiet the engine is. Nice and quiet. Shut that down. Let's look at the gate. Hold that phone for a minute. Okay, there's our tachometer, our idle speed. There's our temperature gauge, nice and cool. There's our trim gauge right there. And our, uh, that's our trim gauge over there on the right, I'm sorry. That's our oil pressure gauge right there. I don't have any numbers on them, but it's probably about 40 PSI at idle. Fuel gauge, pretty low on fuel, and our charge gauge. This stuff right here, this mode thing, I don't even think it works. You push this, or I just don't know how to work it. And you push it, and you hold it, and, and things change on it. I'm just not even sure what it does. The stereo power, it came on. It's been a long time, folks, so just bear with me. I don't know how to uh, work the stereo. No static coming out of speakers, so I guess the stereo works. You just need to change the station a little bit. And it's just not scanning. We're under a metal awning. so. Looks like the stereo works, you're just gonna have to program it to your stations. And the cigarette lighter port or power port, you know, over there. And that's about it. I'm gonna put it in gear. Give it a little gas. Burns like a kitten. So anyway, not a perfect boat, not a brand new, oh there's a little bit more damage right there on the corner of that. And we got some over here. So it's got some upholstery issues that are pretty minor. And we 
need some screws in that. Um, that's really about it, you know. Anyway, I hope that helps anybody that's looking at it and that points out anything. If I miss something, let me know and I'll take some more pictures of it. It's a really nice boat. It runs great. It's a nice, good sized boat for lakes. Shut it off, Joseph. Start it up. Go ahead and start it up. Thank you for letting me get off first. Fire's right up. That's a depth finder. You push that mode button. Shut it off again. Okay, start it. There we go. Hit the button. And that's it. That's the worst. Oh, shut it off. Transom solid. No leaks. It's a good boat, man. Hope that helps some of y'all.